Well, this spot was nice, but it is definitely time to move on. I am out of groceries, almost out of fresh food. I'm out of Oatly, oat milk for my coffee. So I'm drinking just plain old coffee here this morning. I think uh, groceries and Oatly are a good enough decision to hit the road. Now I just need to figure out where. Well, I think I'm going to head into Sedona to get groceries. We'll see if this is a good idea or not, but it's midweek, so it shouldn't be too busy, I hope. But let's find out, shall we? <laughs> that was cool. This is all uh, cattle grazing land. And I actually just saw a cowboy on a horse tending to uh, a bunch of cows. There was a little baby cow. Looked like he was trying to get out of a little ravine. I haven't seen a cowboy riding a horse in uh, forever. I don't know, a long time anyway. So this is a little suburb of Sedona called Oak Creek, and just a few miles out of Sedona. And there's a grocery store here I'm gonna stop at just because I've got some pretty particular food requirements for my health conditions. And so I figure I better stop at the first grocery store I see, and hopefully they have what I need because if I get into Sedona, don't have what I need, I don't wanna backtrack. So that's the plan anyway. These are the little things I have to do just to mind my health. And it's not such a big deal, but I just need to constantly remember that not every grocery store has food that I can actually consume. And so just a little extra step I have to do. I think I'll get gas here too. I was just checking gas prices and they're much cheaper here in this little suburb than they are uh, in Sedona, which makes sense too. Okay, that was a beautiful store, but it was also an organic store, a mostly organic store, so it was wildly expensive. So uh, I couldn't, well, I, I couldn't bring myself to just walk out uh, empty-handed. It seemed kind of strange. So I just, uh, I don't know why I had that feeling, but I did need some cheese, and I do like these big blocks of Tillamook cheese, so I did buy one of these because it wasn't actually very, expensive in there so uh, at least I got a little bit of cheese these last me for quite a while which is why I like them um, but that's all I got so uh, hopefully I'll, hopefully I will have better success with uh, Sedona on groceries because I can't afford to shop here at Clark's Okay, a little better success here with gas in this town. 419 a gallon is not terrible these days. So now on to Sedona. See if I can find some groceries. Because man cannot live on cheese alone. Okay, I'm at Safeway here. I just went and got water. Now we'll go uh, see if I have any better luck finding groceries here. At least groceries that I feel like I can afford to buy. Oh boy, did I think the last store was expensive. This one was even more expensive, but at least I got some Oatly. I'm happy about that because I, uh, I tried drinking my coffee this morning just straight up, but it's not my favorite. Uh, I can drink the light roast stuff straight and sort of enjoy it, um, but I just enjoy it so much more with some type of oat milk or half and half. So I opened up my backup of oat milk. This is Rye's Brewing brand of oat milk, and it's nowhere near as tasty and creamy as Oatly. 
So I'm happy to have some Oatly and I'll, uh, I'll have to finish this off since I opened it, but I'm not real excited about it. Anyway, I've got one more option of grocery stores. There is a natural grocers right across the street. Why can I never say that? Natural grocers, natural grocers. There, it came out okay that time. Anyway, uh, it's like a little um, health food organic type store. And I think the prices are a little bit better, even though they're organic, I think they're a little bit better than Safeway. I hope so anyway, because I do need some food. Okay, this natural grocers was a little bit better for me. Hey, look, I said it that time. Um, got a little bit of a grocery haul here. Uh, bought chips, which I shouldn't have, but I've been hungry and wanting snack things. Um, natural peanut butter, and I bought a couple of potatoes, um, some more frozen vegetables. I bought some corn. Is that a frozen vegetable? Yeah, corn's a vegetable. Not a great one, but it's a vegetable. Uh, and then some butternut squash. Both of these were on sale, so I uh, decided that they would be good. You know. Corn is not the greatest thing, but it works kind of in a bunch of different things for me. So I do like it. And then I thought with the butternut squash, it's a lot healthier of a vegetable. So since it was on sale, I went ahead and got that. Um, bought some more fire roasted tomato, which I've been going through a lot of. And I bought some chili beans. So these are pinto beans that are already kind of seasoned up with uh, garlic and chili powder. So those will be useful because I'm sure I'm going to be making chili again quickly in the future here. And I didn't buy any uh, meat as protein, so I went ahead and got some green lentils. These are really good price there. So we're not on sale, but they're a really good price. So these will be a good little uh, pantry item. And then Snack-wise, I uh, bought a couple of, uh, what are these? Yeah, <laughs> bananas. I think I need to eat one of these. Need to eat one of these right away. Um, yeah, bought a couple of bananas for snacks. So good snack, bad snack, but snacks. Well, Sedona is really beautiful. I can see why it's so popular and people speak so highly of it. Uh, the other side of the coin with that though is it is really crowded and busy. Uh, I, I was told that it was going to be busy, but it's a lot busier than I had uh, really anticipated. So I was thinking that I might just park here in town and stay in town for a couple of days, at least a day or so. But with as busy as it is, I'm just not feeling the vibe to stay here. As beautiful as it is, you know, there's no disrespect to the town and the beauty around here. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit too busy of a vibe for me. So I think I'm just gonna move along and go back to some uh, public land here close by. I'm gonna look at the map, figure out a place to go, higher elevation, and now that I'm stocked up on food again, that won't be a problem. So off we go. I was driving along here and saw a visitor center for the National Forest here. So I thought I should just pop in and make sure that where I am heading for tonight, uh, it's going to be a good place and uh, legal and all. So I did do some research online the other night uh, about this spot that I was heading to, but things change and uh, apparently things are changed quite a bit more than I had realized. Uh, there's two fires in the area. I knew of one on the other side of Flagstaff, but apparently there's a fire 
down in Prescott as well. So uh, they did tell me that I could see some smoke because of both of those fires kind of on either side of uh, where we are right now. So um, anyway, good news is uh, where I was heading was all uh, good to go, legal and everything. Uh, she gave me a map and highlighted some areas for me. So it gave me a couple of areas I didn't know about. So I've got a couple of options, which is good too. But what a beautiful little spot this is. There's a little uh, access trail down to the water. So I went down and stood at the water for a minute or two. Uh, this is just an incredible place. I'm liking seeing trees again. There's a little market across the street and it says they have uh, fresh cider and other things. I just now noticed there's a little sign that says espresso. I haven't eaten anything all day, I just realized, and I kind of want to go over there because I'm hungry and there's all kinds of goodies for sale over there. But I think I'm going to be good and just use the groceries that I have. Yeah, I get on the road now and go find a camp. Wow, this road is incredible. Uh, I, I am just enjoying this, except uh, I just went through a very steep and twisty bit of it with some pretty gnarly drop-offs. And uh, I, got, uh, I got a little white knuckle moment there a couple of moments. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not even making sense talking now. Um, yeah, a little rattled, so I just thought I would uh, just take a minute stretch my legs. There is a scenic overlook here, so I just am taking the opportunity to park for a second. Get out and walk. I knew that road was steep coming up, but uh, you really get a perspective looking down from up here. That is one steep, steep canyon. And for somebody that doesn't necessarily like heights, uh, I don't exactly find that scenic uh, viewpoint to be uh, all that uh, thrilling. Uh, well, maybe thrilling in one way, but um, yeah, I've uh, had my little walk around, had a little snack, and now on to finding a camp because I don't think I'm too far. I'm not sure I like the looks of this road. And there's a car right at the edge of the highway here that has a blown out tire. It looks like they just came from up there trying to leave. I don't think I want to chance this. No, thank you. Okay, that's a little discouraging. That road looked bad, and I turned around and then talked to the people in the car that had the blown out tire, and they said, yeah, a uh, tire did blow out because of the road, and the road gets worse the farther you go up. So that was enough for me to uh, not want to chance it. So I just drove down the road a little ways and there is another dispersed camping area only thing is this area is uh dispersed campsites only so you've got to park in the little places that they tell you that you can park it's not really just dispersed camping uh, and so it is midweek so maybe i'll get lucky and find a spot let's see well, there's a little sign here, so I just thought I'd double check. And yeah, 
And yeah, there's a few camping areas. So just go see if I can snag me a spot. Well, it looks like this will be my spot. This isn't the nicest spot. There's uh, another couple down a little ways, but it would mean me having to camp right next to somebody instead of having a little distance. And this spot's got plenty of sun, so that's good for my solar. And I have a little bit of cell service, so I guess there's not anything more to ask here. This is my home. Well, this looks like a decent enough spot for me. I, uh, I haven't eaten much today, so I'm going to make some nachos since I have chips. I hardly ever buy chips anymore. These are all broken, though. I guess it'll be fine. Uh, it all tastes the same, won't it? Um, yeah, so I'm going to have just a little snack of nachos, and then I think I'll uh, walk around the neighborhood. I wanted to just go walk around the neighborhood and see what the neighborhood was like, but I should probably just eat a little bit of something first. Looks good to me. A little yellow bird because that makes everything better. All right, quick little snack and then get out and walk the neighborhood. camp has really filled up in the last few minutes, but I just walked a few feet over the little hill here. It's almost like I'm the only one out here. Well, it's just absolutely beautiful here. I walked down the hill behind the van, and then I walked uh, up the hill that goes on the other side of the van here. And it's just beautiful everywhere you look. Just fantastic. Um, I was doing a little research last couple of minutes here, just checking the weather and all. Apparently, it's going to be uh, low of 33 tonight. So that got me thinking maybe I should make some soup. And I think I'm going to break into these lentils I bought today. They would make an easy soup, uh, easy quick soup to make tonight. Um, and I'm going to do my usual trick of just waiting until as late as I possibly can so that I warm up the van before I go to bed because uh, 33, did I say 32? 33. The low is going to be 33. I don't know what I just said. Uh, I'm tired. I would say that the uh, the elevation has taken the wind out of me, but um, there's there's just no air here to breathe to begin with. So uh, I think this is it. I think we're above six thousand feet in elevation, but I'm not exactly sure the uh, the correct figure. But uh, this is over six thousand feet anyway, so I'm feeling it. Uh, so I better make a good hearty dinner and I'm going to soak some of these lentils right now so that they're ready to go when I'm ready to cook them later tonight. Well, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty cold night. Uh, I stepped outside for a couple of minutes to admire all the pine trees that I have been missing. Then I've got lots to look at and enjoy around. But it's cold out there already. Sun's still up uh, probably for another half hour or so, but it's it's feeling pretty chilly outside. So it's probably going to be a cold night. Uh, so I gave up admiring the trees outside and jumped back in. Probably should have had my heavier jacket on 
jacket, sweater, whatever you want to call this. I am ready to just be warm, for one, and also I'm exhausted, so I think I better get dinner started now because I don't think I'm going to be staying up too late tonight. I'm just uh, really, really tired. So, um, first thing is I've got to drain off the water that I was soaking these lentils in, and then I'll put some fresh water and I'll put some uh, vegetable broth seasoning in there. I think I've got some stock cubes or something I, I can throw in. And then I'm going to add some fire roasted tomato to this because I really like tomato with lentils. And I don't think I'm going to use a whole can. I'll probably use half the can and just to give a little bit of sweetness. I think goes really well with lentils. And then I was thinking... I think I'm gonna crack into that butternut squash I bought earlier. Since I've been living off of frozen mixed vegetables for the last several weeks, I'm getting kind of tired of them. So uh, now that I have some butternut squash on board, I'm gonna enjoy that as a little mix up here. So uh, get these on since I've soaked them. This shouldn't be too long. And then I can think about getting to bed. Well, dinner is served, and not a moment too soon because I am fading fast. So I'm going to enjoy my dinner. I've got plenty of leftovers for lunch or dinner tomorrow, and that makes me happy. And I'm not too worried about the uh, cold temperatures tonight because I am so tired, I think I'm going to sleep right through no matter what. Now, I would like to just uh, keep it real here and just talk about one little thing. Um, I normally like to uh, keep everything on an upbeat level here, so if there's anything that's going to be kind of controversial or upsetting, I just won't talk about it anymore. Um, kind of, if you saw the video that I did about having a mouse in my house, it really, it really upset me that people were uh, not seeing the humor in that um, and just rolling with the punches. Uh, that's what I tried to do because that's the only thing I could do. I mean, I was incredibly discouraged about the number of just, just not positive comments that I got off of that video. Uh, although I, I have to say that most of you were positive that did leave comments on that, and I do really appreciate that. So, my point here is not to bring up the whole mouse thing again. <laughs> Probably wasn't a good idea, was it? Uh, but my point was that I do try to keep my videos on a more positive and light note. Uh, you can get, you know, uh, discouraging information anywhere. And I want this to be a place where we don't have to worry about seeing a whole lot of discouraging, not positive. I'm so tired. I'm, I'm not finding the words that I, uh, that I need to get this across, but hopefully you're understanding me. Um, I want this to be kind of a nice, safe place to come and just relax and not have to deal with all that other stuff. Uh, but every now and then I would like to just talk about some of the things that I am experiencing and even though uh, Sedona is incredibly beautiful uh, I have not been uh, really enjoying it the last week or so uh, since I've gotten around Sedona area about a week ago I guess a little over a week ago I just haven't really been enjoying it very much and uh, I know it's beautiful and I, I appreciate the beauty of it and everything but um, I've had some little issues with the heat and the deserts and bugs. I'm, I've, I've been bit all over. Uh, it's just, uh, I think, spiders and other little bugs. And I just have not been enjoying it. And not to be ungrateful, uh, for those of you that don't know, I've spent for almost 40 years of my life in the desert. I was born in the desert, raised in the desert, lived most of my life in the desert. At this point, I just would like something a little different. So uh, 
I'm glad to be out of the desert for now, and today was a joy upon joys. Uh, I really love to drive, I really love trees, I really love to see water, and I got all of that today. And it looks like I've got, well, I'm not going to see any water around here, but I've um, got lots of trees and lots of great places to drive if I wanted to do that. I'm so exhausted, I don't think I'm going to be driving anywhere for a day or two, but um, I am just really, really overjoyed to have uh, today. I would have enjoyed today anyway, but I think it's especially uh, pleasant because of the last week or so being in a place that is gorgeous, is beautiful, is fantastic, but it's just not a place I want to be. And uh, maybe that makes me seem a little ungrateful. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to talk about some of the bad things I've had to deal with, but um, I'm just glad to be out of the desert. Let's just put it that way. So uh, anyway, um, really, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate every single one of you, and especially those of you who are channel members and Patreon supporters. I want to give you an extra thank you. Uh, I really do appreciate you. And, of course, I appreciate everybody for watching. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.